was the first president of the United States? George Washington. What are the colors of our flag? Red, white, and blue. What do the stars on the flag mean? They represent the 50 states. How many stars are there on our flag? There are 50 stars. What color are the stars on our flag? White. What do the stripes on the flag mean? They represent the original 13 colonies. How many stripes are there on the flag? There are 13 stripes. What day do we celebrate Independence Day? July 4th. What is the national anthem of the United States? The Star Spangled Banner. Where is the Statue of Liberty? In New York Harbor. Who wrote the Declaration of Independence? Thomas Jefferson. What are the two major political parties in the United States? Democratic and Republican. What is the supreme law of the land? The Constitution. Who is the current President of the United States? Joe Biden. What do we call the first ten amendments to the Constitution? The Bill of Rights. Who was the father of our country? George Washington. What are the two parts of the U.S. Congress? The Senate and House of Representatives. Who elects the President of the United States? The Electoral College. Who becomes president if the president dies? The vice president. What is the capital of the United States? Washington, Tish. What are the two major political parties in the United States? The Democratic and Republican parties. When is the last day you can send in federal income tax forms? April 15th. Who makes federal laws? Congress. What are the two parts of the U.S. Congress? The Senate and the House of Representatives. How many U.S. Senators are there? 100. We elect a U.S. Senator for how many years? Six years. Who is one of your state's U.S. Senators now? The answer varies depending on the state the respondent is from. The House of Representatives has how many voting members? 435. We elect a U.S. representative for how many years? Two years. Name your U.S. representative. The answer varies. Who does a U.S. senator represent? All people of the state. Why do some states have more representatives than other states? Because of the state's population. Who is the governor of your state now? The answer varies depending on the state the respondent is from. What is the political party of the president now? Democratic Party. What is the name of the vice president of the United States now? Kamala Harris. Who is the chief justice of the United States now? John Roberts. What is the highest court in the United States? The Supreme Court. How many justices are on the Supreme Court? Nine. Who was president during the Great Depression and World War II? Franklin Roosevelt. Who did the United States fight in World War II? Germany, Italy and Japan. Before he was president, Eisenhower was a general. What war was he in? He was in World War II. During the Cold War, what was the main concern of the United States? Communism. What movement tried to end racial discrimination? The Civil Rights Movement. What did Martin Luther King Jr. do? Fought for civil rights. Name one American Indian tribe in the United States. Cherokee. What major event happened on September 11, 2001 in the United States? Terrorists attacked the World Trade Center and the Pentagon. Name two national U.S. holidays. Independence Day and Thanksgiving. When do we celebrate Independence Day? July 4th. What is the economic system in the United States? Capitalist or market economy? What is the rule of law? 
Everyone must follow the law. Name one branch or part of the government. Congress president or the courts. What stops one branch of government from becoming too powerful? Checks and balances. Who is in charge of the executive branch? The president. Who makes federal laws? Congress. What are the two rights of everyone living in the United States? Freedom of expression and freedom of speech. What do we show loyalty to when we say the Pledge of Allegiance? The United States flag. Name one right only for United States citizens. Voting in a federal election. What is one responsibility that is only for United States citizens? Serve on a jury. How old do citizens have to be to vote for president? 18 and older. What are two rights of the Declaration of Independence? Life and the pursuit of happiness. What is freedom of religion? You can practice any religion or not practice a religion. What is the economic system in the United States? Capitalist economy. What is the rule of law? No one is above the law. Who wrote the Declaration of Independence? Thomas Jefferson. When was the Declaration of Independence adopted? July 4, 1776. What is the capital of your state? Answers will vary. Name one of the two longest rivers in the United States. Mississippi or Missouri River. What are the two parts of the U.S. Congress? The Senate and the House of Representatives. How many justices are on the Supreme Court? Nine. Who makes federal laws? Congress. What ocean is on the west coast of the United States? The Pacific Ocean. What ocean is on the east coast of the United States? The Atlantic Ocean. Name one U.S. territory. Puerto Rico. Name one state that borders Canada. New York. Name one state that borders Mexico. California. Why does the flag have 13 stripes? Because there were 13 original colonies. When must all men register for the selective service? At age 18. What are two ways that Americans can participate in their democracy? Voting and running for office. When is the last day you can send in federal income tax forms? April 15. What did Susan P. Anthony do? Susan P. Anthony fought for women's rights. Who was the first president of the United States? George Washington. What is one thing Benjamin Franklin is famous for? He was a U.S. diplomat. Who is the commander-in-chief of the military? The president. Why does the flag have 50 stars? Because there is one star for each state. When do we celebrate Independence Day? July 4th. Name two rights in the Declaration of Independence. Life and Liberty. What is freedom of religion? You can practice any religion or not practice a religion. Who was the first president of the United States? George Washington. What is one thing Benjamin Franklin is famous for? He was a U.S. diplomat. Who is the commander-in-chief of the military? The president. Why does the flag have 50 stars? Each star represents a state. Who was the first president of the United States? George Washington. What are the colors of our flag? Red, white, and blue. What do the stars on the flag mean? They represent the 50 states. How many stars are there on our flag? There are 50 stars. What color are the stars on our flag? White. What do the stripes on the flag mean? They represent the original 13 colonies. How many stripes are there on the flag? There are 13 stripes. What day do we celebrate Independence Day? July 4th. What is the national anthem of the United States? The Star Spangled Banner. Where is the Statue of Liberty? In New York Harbor. Who wrote the Declaration of Independence? Thomas Jefferson. What are the two major political parties in the United States? Democratic and Republican. What is the supreme law of the land? 
The Constitution. Who is the current President of the United States? Joe Biden. What do we call the first ten amendments to the Constitution? The Bill of Rights. Who was the father of our country? George Washington. What are the two parts of the U.S. Congress? The Senate and House of Representatives. Who elects the President of the United States? The Electoral College. Who becomes President if the President dies? The Vice President. What is the capital of the United States? Washington, D.C. What are the two major political parties in the United States? The Democratic and Republican parties. When is the last day you can send in federal income tax forms? April 15. Who makes federal laws? Congress. What are the two parts of the U.S. Congress? The Senate and the House of Representatives. How many U.S. Senators are there? 100. We elect a U.S. Senator for how many years? Six years. Who is one of your state's U.S. Senators now? The answer varies depending on the state the respondent is from. The House of Representatives has how many voting members? 435. We elect a U.S. Representative for how many years? Two years. Name your U.S. Representative. The answer varies. Who does a U.S. Senator represent? All people of the state. Why do some states have more representatives than other states? Because of the state's population. Who is the governor of your state now? The answer varies depending on the state the respondent is from. What is the political party of the president now? Democratic Party. What is the name of the vice president of the United States now? Camiola Harris. Who is the chief justice of the United States now? John Roberts. What is the highest court in the United States? The Supreme Court. How many justices are on the Supreme Court? Nine. Who was president during the Great Depression and World War II? Franklin Roosevelt. Who did the United States fight in World War II? Germany, Italy, and Japan. Before he was president, Eisenhower was a general. What war was he in? He was in World War II. During the Cold War, what was the main concern of the United States? Communism. What movement tried to end racial discrimination? The Civil Rights Movement. What did Martin Luther King Jr. do? Fought for civil rights. Name one American Indian tribe in the United States. Cherokee. What major event happened on September 11, 2001 in the United States? Terrorists attacked the World Trade Center and the Pentagon. Name two national U.S. holidays. Independence Day and Thanksgiving. When do we celebrate Independence Day? July 4. What is the economic system in the United States? Capitalist or market economy. What is the rule of law? Everyone must follow the law. Name one branch or part of the government. Congress, President, or the courts. What stops one branch of government from becoming too powerful? Checks and balances. Who is in charge of the executive branch? The President. Who makes federal laws? Congress. What are the two rights of everyone living in the United States? Freedom of expression and freedom of speech. What do we show loyalty to when we say the Pledge of Allegiance? The United States flag. Name one right only for United States citizens. Voting in a federal election. What is one responsibility that is only for United States citizens? Serve on a jury. How old do citizens have to be to vote for president? 18 and older. What are two rights of the Declaration of Independence? Life and the pursuit of happiness. What is freedom of religion? You can practice any religion or not practice a religion. What is the economic system in the United States? Capitalist economy. What is the rule of law? No one is above the law. Who wrote the Declaration of Independence? Thomas Jefferson. When was the Declaration of Independence adopted? July 4, 1776. What is the capital of your state? Answers will vary. Name one of the two longest rivers in the United States. Mississippi or Missouri River. What are the two parts of the U.S. Congress? The Senate and the House of Representatives. How many justices are on the Supreme Court? Nine. Who makes federal laws? Congress. What ocean is on the west coast of the United States? The Pacific Ocean. What ocean is on the east coast of the United States? The Atlantic Ocean. Name one U.S. territory. Puerto Rico. Name one state that borders Canada. New York. Name one state that borders Mexico. California. Why does the flag have 13 stripes? Because there were 13 original colonies. When must all men register for the selective service? At age 18, what are two ways that Americans can participate in their democracy? Voting and running for office. When is the last day you can send in federal income tax forms?
April 15. What did Susan B. Anthony do? Susan B. Anthony fought for women's rights. Who was the first president of the United States? George Washington. What is one thing Benjamin Franklin is famous for? He was a U.S. diplomat. Who is the commander-in-chief of the military? The president. Why does the flag have 50 stars? Because there is one star for each state. When do we celebrate Independence Day? July 4th. Name two rights in the Declaration of Independence. Life and Liberty. What is freedom of religion? You can practice any religion or not practice a religion. Who was the first president of the United States? George Washington. What is one thing Benjamin Franklin is famous for? He was a U.S. diplomat. Who is the commander-in-chief of the military? Is the commander-in-chief of the military? The president. Why does the flag have 50 stars? Each star represents a state. 각별은 하나의 줄을 대표합니다. U.S. Citizenship Interview Security Procedure Please place all metal items in the tray and empty your pockets. I have placed everything in the tray. We will also check your bag and coat. Please walk through holding nothing. Understood. Here's everything I have. Please remove your belt and shoes before walking through the metal detector. Sure. Here you go. Do you have any electronic devices or liquids in your bag? No. I've removed all electronics and liquids. Thank you. You may proceed to the waiting area until you're called for the interview. Thank you. How long is the wait usually? How are you feeling today? I am feeling a bit nervous, but I am prepared. That's perfectly normal. Just relax and answer the questions as best as you can. Thank you. I will do my best. Have you prepared all your documents for today? Yes, I have them right here with me. Excellent. The interview won't take too long. Are there any last questions you have before we start? No. I think I am ready to proceed. Thank you for asking. Please place all metal items in the tray and empty your pockets. I have placed everything in the tray. We will also check your bag and coat. Please walk through holding nothing. Understood. Here's everything I have. Please remove your belt and shoes before walking through the metal detector. Sure, here you go. Do you have any electronic devices or liquids in your bag? No, I've removed all electronics and liquids. Thank you. You may proceed to the waiting area until you're called for the interview. Thank you. How long is the wait usually? How are you feeling today? I'm feeling a bit nervous, but I'm prepared. That's perfectly normal. Just relax and answer the questions as best as you can. Thank you. I will do my best. Have you prepared all your documents for today? Yes, I have them right here with me. Excellent. The interview won't take too long. Are there any last questions you have before we start? No, I think I'm ready to proceed. Thank you for asking. Your current legal name? My current legal name is Alice Lee. Date? of birth? My date of birth is January 1st, 1980. Are you a male or female? I am female. Your current marital status? I am married. Have you ever claimed to be a U.S. citizen? No. I have never claimed to be a U.S. citizen. Do you have any children? I have three children. How long have you lived at your current residence? I have lived at my current residence for five years. What is your occupation? I am a bank teller. Have you traveled outside of the United States in the past five years? Yes, I have traveled outside of the United States twice in the past five years. Do you have any siblings? Yes, I have one brother. Have you ever been arrested or convicted of a crime? No, I have never been arrested or convicted of a crime. Are you willing to take the oath of allegiance to the United States? Yes, I am willing to take the oath of allegiance. Have you ever voted in any U.S. elections? No, I have never voted in any U.S. elections. Your current legal name? My current legal name is Alice Lee. Date of birth? My date of birth is January 1st, 1980. Are you a male or female? I am female. Your current marital status? I am married. Have you ever claimed to be a U.S. citizen? No, I have never claimed to be a U.S. citizen. Do you have any children? 
Yes, I have three. How long have you lived at your current residence? I have lived at my current residence for five years. What is your occupation? I am a bank teller. Have you traveled outside of the United States in the past five years? Yes, I have traveled outside of the United States twice in the past five years. Do you have any siblings? Yes, I have one brother. Have you ever been arrested or convicted of a crime? No, I have never been arrested or convicted of a crime. Are you willing to take the oath of allegiance to the United States? Yes, I am willing to take the oath of allegiance. Have you ever voted in any U.S. elections? No, I have never voted in any U.S. elections. Are you currently employed? Yes, I am currently employed as a teacher. Have you ever served in the U.S. Armed Forces? No, I have never served in the U.S. Armed Forces. Do you pay your taxes every year? Yes, I pay my taxes every year. Do you support the Constitution and form of government of the United States? Yes, I support the Constitution and form of government of the United States. Have you ever been a member of any organization, association, fund, foundation, party, club, society, or similar group? Yes. I have been a member of a community service club. Have you ever been involved in persecution or genocide? No. I have never been involved in persecution or genocide. Have you ever been a member of any organization, association, fund, foundation, party, club, society, or similar group in the past five years? Yes, I have been a member of a local reading club. Do you support our constitution and are you ready to take the full oath of allegiance to the United States? Yes, I fully support the constitution and am ready to take the oath of allegiance. Will you bear arms on behalf of the United States when required by the law? Yes, I will bear arms on behalf of the United States when required by law. Are you willing to perform work of national importance under civilian direction? Yes, yes. I am willing to perform work of national importance under civilian direction. Do you understand the full oath of allegiance to the United States? Yes, I understand the full oath of allegiance to the United States. Is there any reason you cannot take the full oath of allegiance? No. There is no reason I cannot take the full oath of allegiance. Have you ever been a habitual drunkard? No. I have never been a habitual drunkard. Have you ever been a prostitute or procured anyone? No. I have never been a prostitute or procured anyone for prostitution purposes. Have you ever sold or smuggled controlled substances, illegal drugs, or narcotics? No. I have never sold or smuggled controlled substances, illegal drugs, or narcotics. Have you ever been married to more than one person at the same time? No. I have never been married to more than one person at the same time. Have you ever helped anyone enter the United States illegally? No. I have never helped anyone enter the United States illegally. Have you ever been deported or ordered to be deported from the United States? No. I have never been deported, nor have I been ordered to be deported from the United States. Have you ever been a member of a totalitarian party? No. I have never been a member of a totalitarian party. Have you ever been associated with the Communist Party or any other totalitarian party? No, I have never been associated with the Communist Party or any other totalitarian party. Have you ever advocated the overthrow of any government by force or violence? No, I have never advocated the overthrow of any government by force or violence. Will you perform non-combatant services for the U.S. Armed Forces if required by law? Yes. I will perform non-combatant services if required by law. Do you promise to keep all laws regarding illegal drugs? Yes, I, yes, 
I promise to abide by all the laws regarding illegal drugs. Do you understand that with the citizenship, you will bear allegiance to the United States? Yes, I understand that becoming a citizen means I will bear allegiance to the United States. Allegiance 충성, 미국에 대한 충성 맹세를 표시합니다. Are you ready to swear allegiance to the United States? Persecution 밖에 종교나 정치적 이유로 타인을 괴롭히는 행위입니다. Have you ever persecuted someone for their beliefs? Have you ever participated in genocide? Are you willing to perform work as a non-combatant in the armed forces? Have you ever been a member or associated with the Communist Party? Have you ever been involved with a totalitarian party? Have you ever advocated the overthrow of any government? Have you ever been a habitual drunkard? Have you ever engaged in prostitution? Have you ever sold or smuggled controlled substances? Have you ever assisted someone with illegal entry to the United States? No. I have never assisted with illegal entry to the United States. Will you give up any title of nobility in a foreign country? Yes, I am willing to renounce any foreign title of nobility. Title United States Citizenship Interview in 400 Questions and Answers Interviewer Do you promise to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Do you promise to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Applicant Yes, I promise to tell the truth. Yes, I promise to tell the truth. Interviewer what is your current legal name? What is your current legal name? Applicant, my current legal name is John Doe. My current legal name is John Doe. Interviewer, have you ever used any other names? Have you ever used any other names? Applicant, no, I have not used any other names. No, I have not used any other names. Interviewer, what is your current occupation? What is your current occupation? Applicant, I am a teacher. I am a self-employed person. Interviewer, are you married? Are you married? Applicant, yes, I am married. Yes, I am married. Interviewer, have you traveled outside of the United States in the past five years? Have you traveled outside of the United States in the past five years? Applicant, yes, I've traveled to Canada and Mexico. Yes, I've traveled to Canada and Mexico. Interviewer, what is the purpose of your trip outside the United States? What is the purpose of your trip outside the United States? Applicant, I traveled to visit my family and for tourism. I traveled to visit my family and for tourism. Interviewer, what is your current home address? What is your current home address? Applicant, my current home address is 123 Main Street, Anytown, USA. My current home address is 123 Main Street, Anytown, USA. Interviewer, have you moved in the last five years? Have you moved in the last five years? Applicant, yes, I have moved once in the last five years. Yes, I have moved once in the last five years. Interviewer, how old are you? How old are you? Applicant, I am 34 years old. I am 34 years old. Interviewer, what is your marital status? What is your marital status? Applicant, I am married. I am married. Interviewer, how many times have you been married? How many times have you been married? Applicant, I have been married once. I have been married once. Interviewer, do you have any children? Do you have any children? Applicant, yes, I have two children. Yes, I have two children. Interviewer, what is your current occupation? What is your current occupation? Applicant, I am currently employed as a software engineer. I am currently employed as a software engineer.
Interviewer, how many times have you traveled outside of the United States? In the past five years? How many times have you traveled outside of the United States in the past five years? Applicant, I have traveled outside of the United States three times in the last five years. I have traveled outside of the United States three times in the last five years. Interviewer, what is the full name of your spouse? What is the full name of your spouse? Applicant, my spouse's full name is Jane Doe. My spouse's full name is Jane Doe. Interviewer, where does your spouse currently live? Where does your spouse currently live? Applicant, my spouse lives with me at the same address. My spouse lives with me at the same address. Interviewer, have you ever sponsored anyone to become a United States citizen? Have you ever sponsored anyone to become a United States citizen? Applicant, no, I have not sponsored anyone. No, I have not sponsored anyone. Interviewer, what is your current job? What is your current job? Applicant, I work as a nurse. I work as a nurse. Interviewer, how many times have you traveled outside the United States? In the last five years? Applicant, I have traveled four times. Interviewer, do you pay child support? If you have any dependent children? Do you pay child support if you have any dependent children? Applicant, yes, I do pay child support for my children. Yes, I do pay child support for my children. Interviewer, have you ever claimed to be a United States citizen in writing? Or any other way? Have you ever claimed to be a United States citizen in writing or any other way? Applicant, no, I have never claimed to be a United States citizen. No, I have never claimed to be a United States citizen. Interviewer, why do you want to become a United States citizen? Why do you want to become a United States citizen? Applicant, I want to become a United States citizen to vote and fully participate in democratic processes. I want to become a United States citizen to vote and fully participate in democratic processes. Interviewer, do you understand the rights and responsibilities of a U.S. citizen? Do you understand the rights and responsibilities of a U.S. citizen? Applicant, yes. I am aware of the rights, such as freedom of speech and responsibilities including jury duty. Yes, I am aware of the rights such as freedom of speech and responsibilities including jury duty. Interviewer, what do you think about the United States? What do you think about the United States? Applicant, I believe the United States is a land of opportunity and freedom and I respect its laws and values. I believe the United States is a land of opportunity and freedom, and I respect its laws and values. Interviewer, what is the status of your spouse? What is the status of your spouse? Applicant, my spouse is a lawful permanent resident, United States citizen non-resident. My spouse is a lawful permanent resident United States citizen non-resident. Interviewer, do you support the Constitution and form of government of the United States? Do you support the Constitution and form of government of the United States? Applicant, yes, I fully support the Constitution and the form of government. Yes, I fully support the Constitution and the form of government. Interviewer, are you willing to take the full oath of allegiance to the United States? Are you willing to take the full oath of allegiance to the United States? Applicant, yes, I am willing to take the full oath of allegiance. Yes, I am willing to take the full oath of allegiance. Interviewer, are you willing to perform non-combatant services in the United States, armed forces if required by law? Are you willing to perform non-combatant services in the United States Armed Forces if required by law? 
Applicant, yes, I am willing to perform. Non-combatant services if required. Yes, I am willing to perform non-combatant services if required. Interviewer, do you understand the full oath of allegiance to the United States? Do you understand the full oath of allegiance to the United States? Applicant, yes, I understand the full oath of allegiance. Yes, I understand the full oath of allegiance. Interviewer, are you willing to bear arms on behalf of the United States, if required by law? Are you willing to bear arms on behalf of the United States if required by law? Applicant, yes, I am willing to bear arms on behalf of the United States if it's required. Yes, I am willing to bear arms on behalf of the United States if it's required. Interviewer, have you ever been a member of any organizations that oppose the United States government? Have you ever been a member of any organizations that oppose the United States government? Applicant, no, I have never been a member of any such organizations. No, I have never been a member of any such organizations. Interviewer, do you understand the rights and responsibilities of United States citizenship? Do you understand the rights and responsibilities of United States citizenship? Applicant, yes, I understand the rights and responsibilities of being a United States citizen. Yes, I understand the rights and responsibilities of being a United States citizen. Interviewer, are you prepared to give up any title or nobility that you hold in a foreign country? Are you prepared to give up any title or nobility that you hold in a foreign country? Applicant, yes, I am prepared to renounce any foreign title or nobility if required. Yes, I am prepared to renounce any foreign title or nobility if required. Interviewer, have you ever failed to file a required tax return to the United States government? Have you ever failed to file a required tax return to the United States government? Applicant, no, I have filed all required tax returns. No, I have filed all required tax returns. Interviewer, do you owe any overdue federal, state, or local taxes? Do you owe any overdue federal, state, or local taxes? Applicant, no, I do not owe any overdue taxes. No, I do not owe any overdue taxes. Interviewer, have you ever been arrested or convicted for any crimes? Have you ever been arrested or convicted for any crimes? Applicant, no, I have never been arrested or convicted for any crimes. No, I have never been arrested or convicted for any crimes. Interviewer, are you willing to help the government? During a national emergency? Are you willing to help the government during a national emergency? Applicant, yes, I am willing to help during a national emergency. Yes, I am willing to help during a national emergency. Interviewer, have you ever been associated with any terrorist organizations? Have you ever been associated with any terrorist organizations? Applicant, no, I have never been associated with any terrorist organizations. No, I have never been associated with any terrorist organizations. Interviewer, do you understand the meaning of the oath of allegiance? Do you understand the meaning of the oath of allegiance? Applicant, yes, I understand that. It is a promise to be loyal to the United States. Yes, I understand that it is a promise to be loyal to the United States. Interviewer, are you willing to serve the United States in any way necessary? Are you willing to serve the United States in any way necessary? Applicant, yes, I am willing to serve the United States when needed. Yes, I am willing to serve the United States when needed. Interviewer, have you ever been involved in any criminal activities? Have you ever been involved in any criminal activities? Applicant, no, I have never been involved in any criminal activities. No, I have never been involved in any criminal activities. Interviewer, do you support the United States Constitution 
and the form of government of the United States? Do you support the United States Constitution and the form of government of the United States? Applicant, yes, I support the United States Constitution and the form of government of the United States. Yes, I support the United States Constitution and the form of government of the United States. Interviewer, are you willing to perform work of national importance under civilian direction? If the law requires it? Are you willing to perform work of national importance under civilian direction? If the law requires it? Applicant, yes, I am willing to perform work of national importance under civilian direction if required. Yes, I am willing to perform work of national importance under civilian direction if required. Interviewer, have you ever been deported or ordered to be deported from the United States? Have you ever been deported or ordered to be deported from the United States? Applicant, no, I have never been deported or ordered to be deported from the United States. No, I have never been deported or ordered to be deported from the United States. Interviewer, have you ever served in the United States military? Have you ever served in the United States military? Applicant, no, I have not served in the United States military. No, I have not served in the United States military. Interviewer, are you willing to swear allegiance to the United States? Are you willing to swear allegiance to the United States? Applicant, yes, I am willing to swear allegiance to the United States. Yes, I am willing to swear allegiance to the United States. Interviewer, have you ever been affiliated with a totalitarian party? Have you ever been affiliated with a totalitarian party? Applicant, no, I have never been affiliated with a totalitarian party. No, I have never been affiliated with a totalitarian party. Interviewer, do you understand the responsibility to serve on a jury if called upon? Do you understand the responsibility to serve on a jury if called upon? Applicant, yes, I understand the responsibility and am willing to serve as a juror if needed. Yes, I understand the responsibility and am willing to serve as a juror if needed.